just in time for Flag Day, Steve Hartman has the tale of a Pied Piper of patriotism with quite a following. Young boys aren't easily appalled, but 11-year-old Preston Sharp sure knows the feeling. Yeah, I was really surprised. And disappointed. Yeah, I'm really disappointed, yeah. Had you seen him like that before? I'm um, not this angry and passionate. Preston's mom, April, says what upset her son so was visiting his grandpa's grave in Redding, California, and realizing not every veteran in the cemetery had a flag. April says even hours later, he was still harping on it. I was like, son, if you're gonna complain about something, you have to do something about it or let it go. And he's like, well, I'm gonna do something about it, mom. Next thing she knew, Preston was taking odd jobs and soliciting donations to buy flags and flowers for every veteran in his grandpa's cemetery. And when that cemetery was covered, he moved on to another, and then another. And here we are, two years and 23,000 graves later. And he does this every week, rain or shine, especially rain. Why? Like they were out there in the rain doing their job, protecting us. Preston says coming out here in the rain, or in this case, 100 degree heat, is the least he can do. Thank you for your service, Michael. His devotion really is enormous. Thank you for your service, Samuel. And contagious. Thank you guys so much for coming out today. Now, when uh, word gets out that Preston will be at a cemetery, a lot of folks feel compelled to join in. It's just amazing. People like Vietnam veteran Fred Loveland. What he's doing brings them out because they can't believe that a young man in this country is doing what he does. We got to put the flower in. It is a movement of young and old. Thank you for your service, Lewis. Of those who serve their country and those who are so grateful they did. Thank you for your service, Alan. All led by this little pied piper of patriotism who saw an injustice and decided to do something about it. Wednesday is Flag Day, but for Preston Sharp, it's just another one of 365 chances to do what's right. Thank you for your service, Norman.